Hey guys, Alex Cave Trolls here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Rust on the PC for free. Uh, this includes single player and multiplayer. Well, not exactly single player. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to rig it to play single player. But I'm gonna be showing you. So, first thing you're gonna need, or the first two things you're gonna need are these two uh, files right here: Rust Client, which is the actual Rust game, and then Rust Server, and, and this Rust server application is only if you want to play single player. If you want to play online on servers, then you don't need this file, and you're going to save yourself a lot of work. <sighs> okay, so first of all, on Foreshared right now, I have my uh, server uploading. So let's get let's get mainly to the single player or the no 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 my bad the actual client. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the client. I'm going to put a link in the description. I always say description wrong. Then you're gonna right click it and you have to click extract to Rust client for PC slash. And uh if you don't do that it won't work properly. And also you're gonna need WinRAR for this. If you don't have that already, I'll also put a link in the in in the description. Holy crap, I can never say that right. So once you click extract to Rust client for PC, you'll get this folder right here. Then when you launch this folder, or actually, if you, okay, launch this folder right here, and then all you have to do is click Rust Start, and it's a Windows batch file, and it's gonna ask you to input a username into a black screen. Just put in any username and press Enter, and then you'll see this screen right here. But before you can do that, you're gonna have to download uh, this. Uh, well, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's just a small program to actually have your game run. I have a 64-bit operating system, and I had to download x86 for some reason. So I guess you could just download x86, put it into your Rust client folder like that, and then just run it and install it. You know, go like that, run, uh, and then it'll say install. And that's it. And then once you've done that, you'd be able to, you know, launch Rust. I'm using Microsoft Encoder here, so it's going to run like crap. So I have to uh, do this. But there you go. Then you have uh, Rust working. And then you'd have to press F1. And then you'd have to, uh, from here, you'd have your console. And you'd have to net.connect to a, to a, a server. And I'll put server links in the, in the description, which I'll get from other videos, because I will do not know how to find servers in this game. So, oops. So right now I'm just gonna exit it. Now that's if you want to play multiplayer online. Oh, I have this weird sound in the background. Now if you want to play, oh my god, if you want to play single player on a local network, you're gonna need to download two things: Log Me and Hamachi, which is a small program. I'm, I'm also gonna have to put in the description a lot of stuff but uh... it's actually not that hard when you think about it to get this game so when you get log me and hamachi and you're also gonna need to get the rust server same thing with the rust server you right click and click extract to rust server slash it's gonna open this now log me and hamachi you're gonna launch it you're gonna press the power button for the first time it's gonna ask you to put in your name i put test pc or or a name for your PC, put test PC. Then you have to go to network, create a new network, and let, just type in anything test for Rust. And then password could be like 12345. 12345. Then click create, and that's it. And now you'll see test for Rust here, and one out of five people in the network, which for, for yourself. Um, also, if you want friends to join you in this Rust game, uh, server so you're basically hosting your own server you have to have people or your friends click join an existing network on Hamachi and then put test for rust as the network ID and then password one two three four five so then you'll have two of five people and then you'll have your friend there so you have to have log me and Hamachi running if you want to play by yourself and then open the rust server then you're gonna open you don't have to worry about any of this just the rust server application and it's gonna ask you to uh, just put a screen resolution. This is not actually the game that you're launching, but this is just a uh, the server. It's gonna be a black screen in the background. Uh, I guess so we could exit out. And then it's gonna say 
Steam server connected, done, and then it's gonna load all your chunks, as you say from Minecraft. So then, yeah, and then you'll have this, uh, where it says, you know, someone has joined the game and it has all this, basically everything that happens in the server right here in this screen right here. And this screen right here is not gonna really be rust, it's just gonna be some black, uh, background. So, once you're running your server, you're gonna go to Rust Client for PC again, uh, and you have to open the actual Rust application. Then one, uh, click play. If you have any problems, just leave a comment and I'll tell you how to fix it. It's not a problem that, uh, no problem I shouldn't be able to fix. Then when you're in the game, press F1, and your console. Uh, down here, you're gonna, you're going to type in well here actually your IP you're gonna type in net dot connect uh, and then you're gonna find your IP with Hamachi it will be right there on top of where you put your the name for your PC mine is 25 oops I gotta move it out of the way 25 but oops I gotta put a space 20 25.43.209.58 and if, if you have friends joining the server you also have to have them type in the same thing but after that you type in semicolon and then 28015 then press enter and then it's loading rust island on your rust <sighs> going through this pretty quick so shouldn't be too hard for you and then you are in rust and you're officially playing so congratulations um then you know you can have friends join you like i said and play up to five people actually you could play even more than five people if you click a create a new network and put another network test to i'm just gonna put a lot of twos one two three four five one two three four five create okay okay I see how it is and then we'll just put random stuff okay and then you can have up to ten people in your server no nine people including yourself so that's it uh... Th thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video again if you had any problems leave a link in uh, I mean a comment in the comments below uh... all the links will be in the description if you had any problems please let me know I'll help you fix it immediately uh, most people have a problem with the face loading screen. Again, all you gotta do is launch V credit. Uh, I don't know what, what the hell this is. Uh, 64 or 86. Try them both. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.